Hi, this is Rich at FrenchFigFarm.com. So what we're looking at here today is from Frank Salerno. I uh, was driving by this house and saw this tree and uh, I stopped in and I talked with Frank. He, uh, the tree was growing pretty well, it wasn't time to take cuttings. Uh, the little Italian guys are probably about four and a half feet tall. Uh, had in his garage a Fiat 500, a vintage Fiat 500. And uh, told me he came from Italy and he brought this tree, uh, these cuttings, and started growing it. Uh, he's from Salerno, uh, therefore I named it Frank Salerno. I traded him um, a couple couple bottles of wine for some cuttings and uh, unfortunately his tree died way back when we had a real cold winter here back in 2013 and then um, I think Frank passed away a couple years ago so it's kind of an interesting fig uh, the fig changes colors a couple different colors when it's ripening uh, it drips a lot of nectar when they're getting when the figs are getting um, ripe it drips nectar and uh, it's a it's it's quite a juicy I want to say sloppy fig some people love it I've got uh, a good friend of mine it's his wife's favorite fig um, it's uh, it's very sweet and uh, it's it's just a it's a very sweet and runny fig. So uh, let's cut it open. You can see on the inside already it's quite a bit of nectar. This one is not as soft as they get. I prefer to pick them earlier than this uh, than, than uh, when it's real when they're real soft. Um, if you like soft, sweet and syrupy, uh, this is a fig for you. See how it tastes here? It's sweet. It has. It doesn't have a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of fruit flavor, but it's uh, it's juicy. Has more of a melon flavor to it. It's a very good fig. It's a very good fig. It has. It just has a a lot of uh, a lot of nectar that will uh, will come out of the fig when it's grown. As you can pick them early. But uh, I would recommend this one. It's easy to grow. Frank just wrapped his tree. And next to the house, when it, when his tree died back, he he didn't wrap it, and uh, it grew up from the from the roots. But I prefer everybody grow things in pots. It's a lot easier to to take care of and more successful um, in terms of fruit and growing, and you avoid a lot of dieback. So it's a great fig, Frank Salerno, from Frank, who brought it from Salerno. Thanks for watching. See more at FrenchBigFarm.com.